Hey everybody, Joe here with Canada the Movies. Um, I wanted to go over the Book of Clarence with you all. I know Travis did one already, um, but actually a an associate of mine who um, went to high school with me is actually in the movie. So I wanted to, one, shout him out. Um, his name is Jacoby Howard. He played Peter, um, who was a disciple of Jesus Christ. Um, for those of you who are familiar with, you know, uh, Christian lore, if you will. <laughs> but um, I also wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about myself as well. Um, so I am a devout Christian. Um, I went to go see this movie. I'm uh, actually ordained um, to preach the gospel. And uh, I went to go see this movie. And guys, it was good. Lakeith Stanfield bodied his role as Clarence, um, but he also played another character in the film, and I'm not going to spoil that for you, but there was a dichotomy there that was palpable. Um, <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> for some, I believe that the, the story might have moved along kind of slow, um, but, uh, and you know, parts of it was satirical. Um, a lot of it was satire, um, but, I believe that none of it was wasted. There's a lot of different types of uh, lore in there, like uh, Barabbas, uh, all of the 12 disciples. Um, in fact, um, historically, there were a lot of copycats, messiahs, or that would pretend to be, or, or believe themselves to be messiahs. Um, and, uh, you know, so it's it's not actually far fetched. I know a lot of people were crying um, that this isn't uh, very accurate or saying that it was blasphemy or whatever. I honestly don't think those people have a clear grasp of history of what actually happened at the time. Um, and so, uh, for those people, I just say, you know, go find you a book, read it um, about the time frame and the time period in which you know, before, during, and after Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's uh, resurrection, um, because there's a lot to learn about that time frame and that time period. Um, but anyway, uh, for also for those people who believe that this was blasphemy, at the end of it all, the story ended up pointing right back to Jesus, um, which is interesting because based off the trailers you probably wouldn't have gotten that which is probably the reason why a lot of people didn't go see it but um because based off of the trailers it probably seemed like oh well they're about to like pick on them and and say that these things aren't real and all that stuff and um instead of belief there was a knowing and you'll know what i'm talking about when you go see this movie um the cinematography was great um, I believe that the uh, um, the storytelling um, outside of the words that they were saying, um, which was in in a lot of ways uh, environmental storytelling, um, uh, the cinematography and the way that they shot different things, um, even the the way that uh, people position their facial expressions um, and whatnot was. Uh, really good <laughs> um, and I believe that this movie actually has a deeper meaning and um, it's one of the movies that I'll probably get on blu-ray um, there are a few uh, movies that I would get um, so I can go back and watch it anytime and this is one um, this I agree with Travis this is the best movie I've seen so far in 2024 um, so far, I think it's only the 19th as I record this, but it was a really, really good film. Um, so I'll have to give it an A double plus. So let me know down in the comments below whether or not you agree. Um, Y'all take care. Have a fantastic day. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell. I've been Joe with Canada Movies. Love y'all. Peace.